Hi. The typical scientific way to analyze sound is what's known as spectral analysis. It's based on the notion that any periodic sound, if stretched out to an idealized infinite duration, is identical to some combination of sine waves at various frequencies. These sine waves are said to make up the spectrum of the sound. The idea also forms the basis of what is known as additive synthesis. The additive synthesizer is one that generates a large number of sine waves that are tuned to some particular, usually harmonic, relationship to each other. For example, a sound made of every harmonic of the fundamental at decreasing amplitude as you go up the harmonic series eventually approximates a sawtooth wave, including only odd harmonics approximates a square wave. In this framework, there are two possible ways to define the type of sound that we're most concerned with here today, namely noise. Noise can be defined as a totally non-periodic waveform. In other words, one that does not repeat itself at all, ever, let alone for the infinite time period required for accurate spectral analysis. Or it can be defined as a sound that contains every single frequency of sine wave all at the same maximum amplitude. This definition of so-called white noise would have to imply infinite duration because only in an infinite time would such a sound be long enough to be periodic and thus analyzable. So noise is either non-periodic or infinitely overwhelmingly periodic. I find this fitting because as another way to put it might be noise is nothing and noise is everything. It either confounds the whole framework or overwhelms it. As I often do, I'm gonna take a page from Hank Shockley's book today and consider noise as a sound made up of all frequencies. The way to work with a sound like this is of course to strategically remove certain frequencies. And of course, within a synthesizer, there's a very standard tool for that very action, the filter. In this little setup here, we have actually several filters. There are four in the QPAS, plus filter networks in the Mimeophone and Strega. Let's start with the reel of tape machine noise floors that Pete created for the Instagram channel. Now I'll go ahead and admit that the simple fact these noises are different from each other gives the lie to the idea of them containing all frequencies. Each contains different frequencies, but we can still consider each as a slightly different block of frequencies to carve up using our filters. So let's carve it up, eh? I'm monitoring the low pass output right now. Of course, as I decrease the cutoff, more and more of the high frequencies are removed. And as we increase the cutoff, higher and higher frequencies are let through. With bandpass, we let through only the frequencies that are nearest the cutoff. With high pass, we let through only the frequencies above the cutoff.
Smile Pass outputs have their own special character that are a little more complex, but we can also hear that they sound different from the other outputs. Let's go back to low pass for now. Now, of course, Strega is another pretty reliable source of noise. Let's molt it through to both inputs of the morphine. And it generates CV as well. Let's use this other math channel to mix back and forth between Strega and the noise reel. Now we have some basic modulations in place, let's add a little more depth. For one thing, I'm not totally opposed to adding some tones. Let's also modulate zone and color on the mimeophone.
some ways, this could probably be said to be the purest form of subtractive synthesis. Do you like to carve up a noise in your synthesizer? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy patching.